Hey guys, so it's been uh, a bit since I've done like one of these type of videos on this channel. So I thought it was time that I update you on some of the things we've been doing. Starting with the chimney, the chimney is just about complete. There are a few spots at the top that need some work because the bricks are still falling off because as you can see, we still have cool overcast weather here in the middle of June. But perhaps the biggest difference is the roof and i know i showed you when i've just started i know you've seen it in the background but i'm gonna give you today an up close and personal look at what we've gotten done so far on the thatch take a look does that look authentic or what now for those of you who have not been watching and know what this is made of this is a synthetic thatch and I've had several comments when they saw it in the background, they're like, uh, you live in fire country. Why would you put thatch on your roof? Well, this is fire resistant thatch. Look at that. I'm loving it so far. This needs to be um, kind of cleaned up a bit. I got to use the heat gun on it. I want this to lay down a little bit so it's not quite so. But I've gotten almost all the way to the top on this side. And over this far, now I need to get the metal flashing for the chimney. And I'd like to get the grout done in the chimney before I bring the thatch all the way over to it. I don't want to be dropping grout on the thatch. So rather than have wood under here, under the eave, I thatched it. And I'm going to use the heat gun so it lays a little more flat. I may even have to use some kind of adhesive. But I'm really happy with the way this is coming out. It's exactly what I'd hoped for. As you can see, the cottage garden is really filling in nicely. And take a look at the color of this delphinium. Isn't that amazing? Now, one more thing that I've accomplished that has not had any video done on it is the stairs up to the cottage. Um, originally, I put in some two by sixes and I was going to let that be how it would be and thought, well, that looks rustic. It didn't look rustic. It looked cheap. People in the 1600s who built a cottage like this didn't have two by sixes, but I wasn't ready to put out any more money. And so I found these bricks that go along the path in front of our house. Of course, this is all going to be taken out, the bricks and everything. Um, but there was a pallet of them over by our shed that came with the house. And so I thought, what if I cover up the two by sixes with the brick? So take a look at the results. So here's the before. And here is the after. Not bad for free, right? Now, if you remember this winter when we had tons of rain, these sections in between the stairs turned into ponds because there was no drainage whatsoever. So I was working on that yesterday. So what I'm doing is there are there's gravel behind each one of these stairs and under and in front of and then i built i and then i'm digging a trench through each one of these levels about a six to eight inch deep trench and filling that with gravel and then i also slanted the sides into this trough so theoretically the rain should come under the stairs uh whatever you want to call that um through the trough under the stair and then I'm going to continue this on. The water from up here that collects off of the, the cottage is going to come down, down that path, and then out into our pasture area. So once I've got this trough made, I'm putting weed fabric in there and filling the rest of that whole area with gravel. And I just so happen to have two finished. What do you think? I chose this gravel for two reasons. Number one, I wanted something on the cool side. So this definitely has a cool, almost blue tone to it because this is supposed to be England. We normally get hot, dry summers. Doesn't look like England so much. So I didn't want a warm colored gravel to add to the warmth of the whole area. So that's why I wanted cool. I chose this one in particular because I already had a ton of it. This pile here, and then there's a pile way on the other side, was delivered to use with the wall pieces. 
So it turns out I ordered too many of these wall pieces. I will find a use for them. They're going to be still over in the Mediterranean garden. But I don't need all this gravel, so I'm using it in the cottage garden. Today's job is going to be to finish this entire stairway. So that includes digging trenches, um, sloping each terrace into that trench, putting on the weed cloth, and filling it with gravel. And that's a lot of shoveling. So fortunately, we do have nice, cool, damp weather because it's going to come in handy. So let's get started. All right, so it's the next day. Let me show you what we've got done. Not bad, right? So there's just a couple things left to finish at this end of the path. This is getting too steep here to just kind of bring it down. The, the gravel would become kind of a, a hazard at that point because the gravity would start pulling it under your feet down and it would probably start to just dump down anyway. So we're gonna have to put in a few simple steps here. Um, so there'll be steps here, steps here. But of course I want a ramp or a path that I can push a wheelbarrow up. And so the entrances from the left side and the right side way over there coming up, uh, those will be just paths that a wheelbarrow can traverse. And then a lot of the soil here is gonna be taken out. This will be smoothed all the way around. This way will be uh, grass. And then in front of the steps will be grass, probably with a few flagstones to just keep the grass, you know, not being tread on all the time. Uh, and then over here, will be grass as well all the way up and that's kind of just to frame this entire space with a nice green belt also it will allow our driveway to be a little bit wider so when people you know have to park up here they can step out and not step directly into a flower bed if they're a little close to that side so that was a fun project and it was really nice to get that done now i hopefully will not have the drainage issues this coming winter and it's just nice to be able to walk up there on gravel and not have to, you know, try to not step in holes or lumps or it's just nice to be done. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and share it with a gardening friend. I'll see you next time.